Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about iApps. And this is uh, Programmability Month on Dev Central, and so uh, we wanted we focused on some i rules, and we've talked about i control, and so now we want to talk about iApps. What are iApps, and then, and more specifically, how can a developer take uh, the iApp and create it and make life awesome for all the people that would use it after that? So. What an iApp does is it, it automatically allows you to deploy an application service. So let's say, let's say you want to uh, deploy Microsoft Exchange and like you got this big deployment and instead of going in there and typing in every little bitty thing and manually doing all this stuff, then you can just deploy an iApp. You can answer a few simple questions and hit go and then the big IP automatically will be populated with all the virtual servers and pools and all that kind of stuff, everything needed to deploy that application service of, in this example, Microsoft Exchange. And so, uh, so anyway, so I wanted to talk about a couple of different aspects of the iApp. And there's a couple of things. Uh, there is a template that is used. So I'll write template up here. Um, and that is what the developer, so I'm going to put dev over here. The developer creates the iApp template and then the user, I'll put user right here, um, is, is the one that's actually going to uh, deploy this thing. So I'll just put deploy uh, the iApp. And so the template has a few different parts and pieces to it. Um, there's, a, uh, there's like a configuration page where you got to decide, you know, hey, what's this thing going to look like? And then there's a, uh, um, you actually have code that you develop uh, to, to build all this stuff up. Uh, and, then, and then there's a, um, a help section that you can use to actually define you know, the, the user interface to say, hey, if I want to use this thing, how do I, like, what does it mean to, to answer this question one way or the other? So you, li you literally build out like the help pages. And so that's what the template has. So I'll just put a few little things here. So the developer is going to develop this template. And then once the template is developed, then the template is going to be de uh, used by the user and then the user is literally just going to, I'll put questions up here, questions, uh, that should be an E right there, so I get E. Anyway, they're, they're literally just going to answer a series of questions and then hit, and then, you know, hit go or whatever, and then I'll put a check mark, and when they, when they answer these series of questions that you have, that you have developed uh, in the template, they're going to answer these things, hit go, and then everything's going to automatically be built for them. And then Microsoft Exchange in this example is going to be completely deployed. They're going to be the hero. Everyone's going to love them and life is going to be good. And so anyway, so that's the overall kind of idea of iApps. So the question is, how do we develop this template? So because this is Programmability Month, we want to focus in on the developer. Let's talk about how we do the templates. So the first thing that a template involves is uh, an attribute section. So I'll put attributes, attributes. And so the attributes is going to be uh, a section where you decide, hey, what, is the, what are the modules that we need? So I'll, uh, I'll put modules up here. Um, what, are the, uh, what are the versions of Big IP that this would work with? Let's say that this only works with version 12 and above or 11 and above or whatever it is. So as you develop this template for whatever, your, whatever application service you're trying to deploy via this iApp, you need to decide as a developer what modules do you need, LTM, APM, ASM, whatever it is, and then what version you need. And then after the attributes, uh, we're going to come into a presentation section. And the presentation section is literally the page that, um, that asks the different questions. You know, hey, user, do you want to offload your SSL uh, you know, to the big IP? Do you, you know, what's the... Um, what's the fully qualified domain name you want to use for your application service? What's the uh, IP address? You know, those kinds of things. So somewhere, those questions and the look and feel of that page needs to be developed. And so that's what happens in the presentation section of building an iApp. And uh, the, the thing that you use uh, here in the, applic or in the presentation section is what we call the Application Presentation Language, or APL. And this is a, uh, this is a language... Um, that you literally use to, to write it all out and script it all out. And so you use the APL uh, to develop the presentation section of the iApp. And then after the presentation section, we come in here to the implementation, implementation section. And the implementation section is the actual scripting. And I'm going to put TMSH scripting here, TMSH script. All right. 
So the TMSH script, you literally write the scripts that will then take the user answer from the presentation page and then actually create all the configuration objects. So this, this uh, applies you know, the, uh, the answers from the presentation page and literally starts to create all the objects. So you do this via TMSH scripting. And so, uh, so that's what you do uh, in the implementation page or in the, in, the, in the implementation section. The next one is the macro, I'll put macro. And this right here uh, is, it, it's new, it's, or it's a relatively new section, but the macro is like a bridge, I'll call it a bridge between um, iApp and iRules. And so one of the really cool things about an iApp is that as the user answers the different questions that you pose to them to say, hey, you know, as you build this thing out, um, then the iApp itself will automatically create iRules as needed based on the user's answers. And so this macro section is where you actually uh, build all of that out. So the macro section is where you can take the answers from uh, the user here in the presentation and then the implementation as you build out the uh, configuration objects. Uh, you can take those answers uh, and then those results and you can literally start to create I rules based on the answers of that. So anyway, so all that's done, all that magic happens there in the macro section. And then the final section of the iApp is the help section. And the help section is HTML based, so I'll put HTML. And, uh, and what you do here is literally, you need to define for your users, you know, as they're going through to answer all these different questions, again, do you want to offload SSL? Um, maybe, maybe if you ask that question, hey, what do you want to do with SSL? Maybe some users are like, I have no idea what SSL offload even means. And so you need to create a help page that is tied uh, to that SSL question and, and literally you can design it so that it's just like right underneath the question itself and it'll say, hey, here's what SSL offload means. If you select this answer, it means this. If you select this answer, it means this. So you need to help them through their answers of this iApp. And so you do that via HTML so you can do all the different styling and you know all that different kind of cool stuff, make it look really fancy and neat as, as much as you really want to. Um, so anyway, so that is, the, that is the template. Those are the different sections of the template of an iApp. And so as a developer, you're gonna develop all these things. And then once the template's all developed, once it's all good to go, you're gonna hand it off to your iApp user. And then that user is gonna love you because all they're gonna have to do to deploy this really, potentially this really uh, sophisticated application service, all they have to do is just answer a couple of questions, you know, question one, two, three, and four, and then they hit go, and then all of a sudden it's just all, it's all deployed for them automatically. So that's why people love iApps, and, uh, and that's why you, as a developer, should get out there and start to develop some iApp templates for yourself. Um, there are some that are already developed, some of the really common ones, I, I keep talking about Exchange, that's already been developed by the F5 team, so you can go out to Dev Central and actually just use that. Um, or you can kind of tear it apart and see how it was built and all that kind of stuff to get different ideas. Um, so anyway, so get out there, mess with iApps, develop these templates. You'll be the hero. All your uh, iApp users will love you and, uh, and you know, life will be good. So, uh, so hey, I hope you've learned a couple little things here about iApps. I hope you've been inspired to go out and create your own iApp template. So thanks for uh, watching this Lightboard lesson video today and we'll see you guys out there in the community.